Hi, welcome to Car Creations. My name is Ethan and today we're working on my uh, rebuild. We uh, were away for a little bit, but we're back. We are almost there, very close, very close. And we just have to uh, finish some things on the front, which we're gonna do in this video. But we're also gonna be putting on new mirror caps and mirrors. And my car has a hidden feature that I didn't know about. So stay tuned, please uh, like, please subscribe, and welcome to Car Creations. All right, so we're just gonna start with putting a little crash bar on. So this will basically go right here, it pulls down, and then connecting to this liner under here, we just put these plastic rivets in. Next step is to try to get this on right here, which should be rather interesting. I don't remember how it went off. We also have this random connection here, which I don't remember what it was for, because that was silly, didn't label it. Pretty quick, we threw on the windshield washer fluid container. Little did we know that later we'd actually have to take it off. But this was a good building block to get to the next thing that we need to do on the car. Cool, so that's on. Next we're gonna put these uh, pieces on right here that uh, are helps with the air as it gets fed into the intakes. So one will go on this side right here and the other one over there. All right, so we got some of the stuff on. So we got this uh, rubber piece on this side on. We got this on. Got everything all on. But we didn't get the other side on, so this side's still empty. Because tomorrow, we're actually gonna go bring it in and we're gonna get all the fluids pressurized and put in properly. So uh, I guess we'll see you then. All right, time to take it to the shop. It's been a while since we started it, so it might take a little bit to get started, but hopefully it should be quick. So uh, let's go ahead and do this here. Should be interesting. We're back out the trailer right now too. That's well, with what we normally do. Put the key right here. Hit it once. Oh yeah! Straight up, and it's been sitting for months. Woo! Okay, let's get this on the trailer. All right, stop. Okay, all packed up. We're just taking it to a little shop that we have down the road, and it's gonna take some time to put refill all the stuff up, and uh, hopefully we should be all set. I pulled some error codes, and it wasn't actually a ton anymore, now that some of the sensors on, but there are some things I'm gonna have to look at and talk to people about. All right, so we're at the shop, so we're just gonna bring it in there quickly, and then hopefully next time you see the car, and finally get some cooling. Okay, we got it back from the shop, just taking it out. Look at that. So Ooh. the air conditioning is cold as anything as we're driving it in here. I was actually quite cold. Spectacular, look at that. So we brought it in here so we could jack it up because we need to take this entire wheel off here and put on this wheel liner. So then once we put the wheel liner on, we can actually get the rest of the vents through and then have the front of the car almost completely, all the guts completely dialed in. But then we can get the bumper on when we get to that point. We uh, went to uh, Redneck Solutions Inc. When you have a couple thousand dollars worth of uh, air tools and the, uh, the wrench and a piece of pipe comes in clutch, all we have to do is put it around this. All right, so let's throw these all on. And it's the first time using this tool for me, so it should be interesting. First time using it, let's strip them all up. Oh yeah. She's yeah. snug. Woo! Nice to have a lift right about now. It would, wouldn't it? It'd be also nice to have like a pillow or something, you know? All right, so we got this liner all nicely in. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so that is where the air basically comes through at the front and funnels around the brakes and comes out. And one, it helps with aerodynamics, sort of. But the biggest thing is that it helps cool the brakes. We're gonna get that on while it's up in the air. Okay, so this is the vent that we're gonna put through. It comes in two parts. So this comes down and then you would screw it in right there. So we'll screw that in. There's uh, these plastic rivets like we showed on the other side that will go on the other end of that. So the plastic rivets will be going in here. We decided that these holes are too small for the little plastic rivet thing. The holes in here are the correct size. These holes are smaller. So I figured make it easy, drill these out to the same size as those. Use the plastic rivets, done. Got that one. That's all in there nice and tight. Ooh! 
now we gotta drop the car down. So we gotta put the tire back on, and then we can. All right, so it's the next day and uh, we got the car down. Everything's all set up there. We have the air is routed through here. What we need to do next is put this little plastic piece on here and it's gonna go somewhere there. So we did the same thing on the other side, but now we just have to do it on this side. One thing I did was uh, screw in the plastic vent on the right, and then I also put that rubber airflow piece in. So now we come to the meat of the video, which I tried to do it a few videos ago, where I wanted to replace the mirror cap of my F54 Clubman with one of the LCI2 ones. However, the actual shape, the actual shape of the mirror was different, so I couldn't do that. But, to come onto this car. Some of the mirror is broken anyway, as you can see right here. One of the nice things when you're replacing things is that you can upgrade it. So one of the first upgrades we're gonna do in my car is add the LCI2 mirror cap. All right, so there's a couple things you might notice here. <laughs> One being, we just said we we're gonna replace the mirror caps. Like we said before, can't just replace the mirror caps. So we actually had to buy a whole new mirrors. However, by the end, it's actually not hugely expensive to do it. Also, if you look closely over here, this has the uh, projector to project the mini logo. We'll have to save that for a future date because uh, I can't do that right now because I'm gonna have to uh, bring some wires through and uh, do some coding. However, stay tuned for that in a future video. But uh, without any further ado, let's get the old ones off and let's get the new ones on. So you're probably wondering, uh, we're not going to put red on it, are we? Well, uh, because I had the mirror caps from before, we'll just put the black ones on. Don't know if we'll keep it that color for the car build, but uh, for now, we'll be putting the black ones on. Alright, so we have the replacement right here. And most importantly, it does come with the uh, little hole for the projector right here. Of course, nothing can go easy. It's cooking hot for one, but uh, if you look over here on this one, it's stuck in this position, and then it can snap to the other side. However, if you go to the other side, it snaps this position, or it snaps this position, but not the right one. So it's like it's on the wrong setting. So we have to try to take it apart and figure that out. All right, it's pouring outside, but uh, we'll try to continue. We'll at least try to get the mirrors on the car. It should go well on this side because I already checked the mirror and it looks good. So, uh, all right, let's get to this one. Well, that was sort of a failure. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go with the mirror caps and the mirrors for now. I'm gonna have to try to figure that whole deal out. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is actually very exciting. We're going to be topping this up with coolant. So for the first time, we're gonna, the engine's gonna be filled with coolant as well as the uh, turbocharger will be. Because water cooled, it'll be filled with coolant also. And this is a very important step, a huge milestone because this car has been completely torn down and the radiator actually was leaking and had everything out. So I can't wait to get this in there so we can actually drive it around without worried about, uh, well, you know, overheating and warping heads and stuff like that. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna pour the uh, coolant in up to the filler mark. Um, it should take around five to six liters depending on uh, the car you have, but for this one, it's around six liters. So uh, we'll fill it up. It's, we have a 50-50 mix. And then after we get the coolant in there, we do have to do a procedure to get it into the turbocharger. But we'll show you that in a minute. So we should probably turn this bleed screw over. We have like a uh, flat head screwdriver. So we can see there that's completely empty. Nice, it just has to be open, that's good. It's a coolant pouring party, boo doo 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 doo, with Ethan and his mini doo 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 doo. It's antifreeze, so don't eat it. Don't let your animals eat it either. All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm actually squeezing the coolant hose here, and before this tank was filled right to the top, 
it's actually gotten so much air out that the tank is almost completely empty again. All right, so next thing that we're going to, to do is uh, get the coolant into the turbocharger. So first of all, we're going to close the cap and then we're going to connect it to a trickle charger. Um, we're going to turn on the ignition. We're going to turn on the headlights. So to uh, turn off automatic and turn it just so their headlights are on. And then we're going to uh, hold down the accelerator pedal for 10 seconds and it'll actually will start the bleeding process for the turbocharger. All right, so we're just warming up the engine because uh, I'm going to uh, try to get the coolant warm so I can try to get some more air out. Now I want to show you something. So you know how I was complaining about the, uh, about the mirrors? Well, it turns out they're not broken. Look, I can go like that, I can go like that, snaps into place now, but watch this. So I was in here and I noticed a little button over here and uh, watch this mirror. That does that. So yeah, maybe they're not broken after all. That is good news. So I accidentally got myself automatic folding mirrors and I didn't even mean to. It's funny because the car had it from factory with the old ones so I went and bought new ones and I guess the motors were already in it. Yeah, I don't know. That was pretty cool. Uh, hey, do you want to hear a, uh, a uh, exhaust sound? notice right off the bat is that <clears throat> they are not the same. This one is at least twice as thick as this one is. And the reason that we need a thinner one is so that we can fit the front bumper on because it's a fancier bumper or whatever Ethan has. <laughs> Anyways, so there's this fitting that pokes in just like that, eh? Boom! Nice. And, oh! Woo! Oh, boy do I love it when stuff fits. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Nice, that's on. Sick. And that's a wrap, folks. So, in this video, we got on the mirror caps, we got on the windshield washer fluid container, we filled her up with uh, radiator, not radiator, coolant. with coolant, with antifreeze coolant, and we also charged the AC. So, uh, with that, the car is pretty much ready to go. In the next few videos, watch as we're going to completely put the new front bumper on, and I'll give you a little sneak peek. And that is way too much showing you all. So uh, we'll get that on and then uh, we'll go on to the back and I'll give you a little sneak peek back there. Stuff is already happening. So yeah, that's a wrap. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. But most, most of all, uh, we hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you all in the next one. I wrecked Osher's tools by using that. Oh yeah, a couple weeks ago. I don't remember that. Yeah, he doesn't know. I haven't told him yet. No, so, he does uh, know. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. Did you tell him? No, you told him. I didn't tell him. Did you? I didn't tell him. <laughs> oh, he, he doesn't know. <laughs> I'm sure Josh really knows. <laughs> I totally forgot to tell him that I broke his tool. Well, that's awkward.